In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable billing alerts to monitor your estimated AWS charges using CloudWatch. To do this, you must be signed in using your AWS root user credentials. IAM users cannot enable billing alerts for your AWS account. In the AWS console, let's go to Billing and Cost Management. Now in the Navigation pane, let's click on Preferences. Under User Preferences, select Receive Billing Alerts. I've already enabled billing alerts on my account. Note that once you enable billing alerts, you cannot disable it or the data collections. But you can still delete any billing alarms that you create. Also note that after billing alerts are enabled, it can take about 15 minutes before you can view your billing data or set billing alarms. Now click on Save Preferences. Once billing alerts are enabled, the next step we need to complete is to create a billing alarm. For this demo, we're going to create an alarm that sends an email when your estimated charges for AWS exceed a specified threshold. Now let's go ahead and open up the CloudWatch console. Billing metric data is stored in the U.S. East, North Virginia region. However, it does reflect any worldwide billing data. If you do not have that region selected, change to it now. In the navigation pane, let's click on Alarms and then create an alarm. Now let's choose select metric. Then I'm going to choose billing, then total estimated charge. Now let's go ahead and check off estimated charges and then click select metric. Next, scroll down to the billing alarm section and under where my total AWS charges for the month section, let's say exceed $1. I'm creating a low threshold here to ensure that we trigger the alarm. The graph at the top will show you the current estimated charges, which you can use to set an appropriate amount. For send a notification to, you can select an existing notification list or create a new one. If you create a new list, each email address will be sent a subscription confirmation email, which the recipient must confirm before they can receive notifications. I'm going to use an existing list here called Billing Alert, which contains my email address. The last setting you'll notice is treating missing data as. Missing data happens when data points for a metric with an alarm do not get reported to CloudWatch. This can happen for multiple reasons, like a connection is lost or a server goes down. I'm just going to tell this alarm to treat my missing data as missing, so that data won't be considered when evaluating whether to change this alarm state. Now let's click on Create Alarm. Right now the alarm is in an insufficient state because it hasn't collected enough data yet. Once it has collected enough data, it should go into an alarm or OK state. After waiting a minute, let's refresh the alarm screen. Now that the alarm has collected enough data, we can see that it is now in an alarm state. That is because I purposely set my threshold low enough to ensure that the alarm gets triggered. If I switch over to my email account, I should see a new billing alert for my estimated charges. And that's how to enable billing alerts to monitor your estimated AWS charges using CloudWatch. Thanks for watching.